Shortly after 5 on the afternoon of January the 30th, 1948, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was on his way to what was then known as Birla House in New Delhi. He was accompanied by his nieces and planned to address a prayer meeting. India had achieved independence some five months prior to this day, but the Mahatma was convinced that his work was not over. Although 78 years old at this time, Gandhiji had just completed yet another fast in an effort to secure peaceful relations between the Hindu and Muslim communities and between India and Pakistan. He was moving through the crowd that thronged the garden when a young extremist named Nathuram Godse approached him and then fired three pistol shots into his chest at close range. Mortally wounded, Gandhi lingered on for over an hour before finally passing on. It's been 67 years since that terrible event in New Delhi, but Gandhi's message and example continues to influence our world. We in South Africa are privileged to have strong links with the life of the Mahatma. And one of these is Satyagraha House in Johannesburg. Rather than being turned into a museum, it celebrates the spirit of Gandhi by offering a place where visitors can find tranquility within the city. And now let's see what Fadeen experienced. In the leafy suburb of Orchards, only a simple nameplate and plaque hint at what lies behind this red brick wall. Designed by his friend, Hermann Kallenbach, this property became Gandhi's home. Now, even though Gandhi only spent a few years of his life in the city of gold, his presence still lingers. It's within these walls and just over 100 years ago where he developed his philosophy of passive resistance. The Satya Graha House is not only a guest house, but also a museum, which enthralls and takes people into the history of our country and the privacy of an amazing man. Mohamed, Hi. thank you for having us. So yes. very nice. Nice to meet you. Beautiful Welcome. place, beautiful yes. place. Thank you very much. Tell me something, where did the concept come from? Uh, the owner of this house is a French man. This house, it was for sale in 2009. And uh, this man, he just uh, think for 10 days to uh, decide to put this house and to come here to bring back this house after 100 years. So now we are in, uh, in the original house. When we arrived here in 2009, uh, it was not exactly like that. We are lucky because we find a photo in 1907 when they built this house. So it helped us a lot to bring it back, this house. Images and artifacts provide the historical context, while also giving life to memories of the previous residents. Now Mo, tell me about the historical significance of this house. And Bach, he decided to, uh, to build this house for his friend uh, uh, Gandhi. And he make like a concept, concept, his name is Satya Graha. Satya, it means the truth. Graha, the force, you know. So, and the, this house is very important because this movement, it was born in this house. But what is the vision and mission of the Satya Graha house? In the beginning, it was, uh, uh, the concept it was for a museum, you know. But a museum, he must leave. To make leave this house, uh, we make uh, about seven rooms, like a guest house. So it was not like a museum, not a guest house. Both of them, guest house and museum. We need that to make leave this museum. Our mission is not, not to make profile for this uh, kind of place. No, just to make the people know what happened in this place. Oh, this is a beautiful room. Mm. Tell me about it. We are here in the uh, veranda. So when we arrived here, uh, the owner of this house, Jean-François Rial, Frenchman, he asked for about five artists to come in this house. Uh, from India, from uh, South Africa, of course, from uh, France, from America, uh, and from England. And they tell him, okay, uh, go to this house and uh, our objective to bring it back this house after 100 years. Often a museum keeps visitors at a distance, but here you feel a welcome guest. Oh, well, thanks for bringing us out, you know, the tranquility is amazing, having a little tea party of our own. Mm -hmm. uh, but what really grabs me is the garden and the veggie garden uh, per se. To my knowledge, Gandhi did a lot of, uh, you know, ate a lot of organic fruits and, and veggies, etc. 
that obviously relates to him. We have uh, the small garden like him uh, when you are, we live here 100 years before. So we have our lettuce, uh, our uh, uh, vegetable, um, and we serve our guests. Uh, about 50 percent from our food come from our garden for our guests. A kitchen is very, very uh, special kitchen. We have. Uh, 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 spicy from India, vegetable from the garden, and the presentation from France because the owner of this house is French, so we have a lot of guests, French guests. And we have no alcohol. We, um, we are also in the same road like Gant, you know. We try to do that. For our guests, we can offer for him uh, something like yoga and meditation in the house. It's amazing because in the morning, you know, at 8 o'clock before breakfast, in the uh, uh, Gant's room, uh, we make about meditation for one hour. For me, it was very important to understand what is this, what he do, why. And I beginning to read about Gandhi. And I tell you something, he changed my life since I'm here. Someone, he leave everything, he's a lower man. He is a very, uh, very good lower man, you know. He's a rich man and he leave everything to uh, help the other. Forget yourself to help the other people. It was a concept, you know. I think we need that now. We need just to remember that. We've come to see Gandhi as a saintly figure, but in doing so, we may lose sight of his humanity. Satyagraha House helps us to appreciate the man who was the Mahatma.